He's getting ready for some wild butterfly catching. Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Mount Beers and Wishes. Today we are starting our vacation off at... Epcot. Epcot. <laughs> um, so, we have a couple of goals to accomplish. Um, we want to make sure we ride the land. Um, so we didn't get to ride that last time. I have my land shirt on. Very nice. Um, and we also want to go on the space. Space, yeah. We didn't get to do that last time either. Um, and I don't know. Just then the rest of the day is. Yeah. It's you know. ours to, to conquer. So yeah, yeah. we got rides, rides to ride and, and food to, to eat and food eat and world showcase to world enjoy. World showcase to walk and yeah. uh, enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Right. So, well, I guess I'll show my shirt real quick. Uh, I'm wearing my uh, awesome wow, King George from uh, Hamilton, yes. and that's uh, in honor of the UK, which we'll be stopping by again. Yes. Uh, Maybe treats. Maybe some treats. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. All right. So um, we hope. That, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hope that you um, follow us along on our adventure, and we're excited to take you with us. So let's go. So this is the line for the seas. Nemo and friends. Um, we always used to joke that, like, why was there a really long line? The line is much longer than it would ever need to be. And now there's an outdoor queue, so I don't know. Things must be uh, getting more busy. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. First stop, Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival. Short film Short festival. Film festival. Yeah. Um, and it shows three different movies. Um, Get a horse. <laughs> Piper. Piper and Peace. Beast. Yeah. Um, and it's so good. They're all so very good. Yeah. I mean, let's not can't not love you know Pixar short. They're all so different too. Each animation style is different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, and you're inside the old theater where they used to do Captain EO, so there are some like moving um, right exactly effects and stuff i think there used to be water that came out too but i they might stop that because of covid right now oh. um but yeah they're really good so if you haven't been to see the short film festival you should yeah we definitely suggest it we go anytime we can every time we come here and um it's a great way to get out of the sun for a little bit and, yeah and take a little bit of a break nice so. little break yeah 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 it was great so now I think we're gonna go ride Living with the Land. Finally. Yeah, finally we're doing it. It's been it. so long, so oh. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do it. We have Winnie the Pooh here behind the uh, butterfly oh, is he tent. Putting sunscreen on? Yeah, it looks like he is. Got some sunscreen on. More sunscreen. Is it sunscreen or honey? On, you know? yeah. yeah, right. You gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. Oh, hey. Right, oh. He's ready. He's putting the lid on. Rubbing it in. Can you sing it? Aw. That's so sweet.
Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Very different, but no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. You probably don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. Most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The ponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. All right, so we just rode the land. Yeah. Um, and it was great, as always. So good. Um, the thing, the caveat I have is that, you know, we have the 
partitions now in between each row, and the last time we wrote it, they weren't there. Um, so we were in the fourth row. I feel like in the darker areas, it did um, include that like your vision a little bit. It did a little bit. You really have to like peek your head out the outside a little bit. You yeah. Know. yeah. Um, but then once you're like in the sunshine of the greenhouses, um, you don't really notice. You yeah. don't really notice anything. Yeah, it's so. fine. And it, it got really bright out, so the greenhouses were very bright today. Yeah, they were. Um, and there was a lot going very on today sunny. in the greenhouses, actually. We had a lot of oh, scientists, yeah. like, fixing the machines and stuff. We yeah. had a couple people in the lab who were working on things. Um, there's always, like, new and interesting plants growing that you can see. Or, yeah. Like, you can check in on your favorite plants to see how they're doing. Right, because some things are seasonal and some yeah. things are you know, ever-growing. So. Yeah. So, Always yeah. a fun time. It's very fun. Yeah. Now we're going to head over to Awesome Planet, yep. I think. We've seen this once, um, but it's been a while. Yeah. Um, I'm more excited. Yes, yeah. looking forward to it. Alright, yeah. let's go. Alright, we just finished watching Awesome Planet. Yep. Yep. It, uh, it was... Um, Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. It um, it it makes you think. You know, it's yeah. it's one of those where like, it, it it pulls you in with the fun visuals and stuff, the fun you know, with the animals and cute cute things, and then it ends up you know sort of making you feel like, well, we have a mission. You know, we need to protect the earth and all the living things on it. So. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not as um, dark and scary as. What was the previous show with um, uh, the Lion, Lion King, King characters? I was going to say oh, Circle, Circle of Life. Oh, Circle, Circle of Life. Life. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that had more of a darker message. Like, if you if you don't stop, here's what your future is going to be. Right. Now it's like, oh, you know, we're doing lots of things to try to fix the planet, but, you know, we could do more, but, you know, I don't know. I guess, like, their approach is, um, look how amazing it is. Don't you want to protect it versus, yeah. like, scare tactics? Yeah. And it features um, Phil from Modern Family. And yeah. he's, he's trying to sell you on um, living on Earth, which is funny. Yeah. A funny take on it. Um, but it was good. It was very good. And Happy any to... seat in the theater is, yeah, is good. It's good. It's yeah. a nice big screen. Um, have to admit, though, we are extremely tired. And I don't think either of us saw the entire show. We that, have before, that was, though. Yeah, and that wasn't like a, a, a negative thing against the show. It was right. us. It's us. It's just us, but... It's a great show. We do recommend going to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least see it once. At Why not? Once. Um, again, another great, like, in the middle of the heat of the day activity. Get out get out of the sun a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, relax. So, and enjoy the show. Yeah. So now we're going to head over to the seas. It yeah. looks like the line finally calmed down. I yeah, took, thank goodness. Um, I showed some clips of that earlier, and it was a nightmare. But I think now it's just back to the old walk through the queue and get on your clamshell. So um, we'll take you through that. Um, we'll probably go visit our favorite manatee friends. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully they're there and they're not asleep yet. I don't think they would be. Yeah. It's only 2.45, so. All right, so we'll keep trucking. See you in a bit.
Yeah, right? Yeah, right? Take the plunge. There you go. That's the sound of going under the sea. <laughs> trippy meaning you could trip if you don't pay attention. Yeah. In the depths. Okay, so 
just um, finished Season of Nemo. Season of Nemo. Um, only stopped three times. Yeah. And um, it actually was really good. Like sometimes when you ride it, um, the sound's a little off. Yeah. Or the so, animatronics are not working. Or the working. animatronics aren't working. And it was all perfect. It was yeah. just that it stopped a couple of times. So that was fine. Which was fine. And then we tried to see our um, manatee friends, but they had to clean the tank. Yeah, so they were leaving as we were pulling up. Like literally swimming away. We were like, oh, okay. So sad. Go look. We got Woody and Bo. So cute. And, uh, oh, and they're sheep friends. Sheep. All right. So anyway. Oh, Billy, Goat, and Gruff. There you go. Sheep names. Um, so we are headed back over to World Showcase. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll take a ride on a friendship boat yeah. or walk around World Showcase. We've been doing a lot of things that are sort of in the dark, you know. Yeah. Darker rides. So We weren't out in the sun and getting burned or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, it's later in the day. Yeah, so, so I might be able to take my hat off soon. Right. <laughs> All right. So we'll catch you over at a World Showcase. See you there. See you there. All right, so we are actually going to end the video here for today. Um, sorry to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger, but we took so much footage at Epcot that um, we need to split the video into two parts. So this is the end of part one. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you join us for part two. It'll be coming out very, very soon. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know um, that you're enjoying our content. It also helps us with the uh, YouTube gods, so we appreciate all of your support. Um, and if you want to see more of our adventures, we're going to have more videos from Disney and also maybe some other theme parks and other adventures. So if you want to follow us along on that, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that little notification bell because um, you'll know every time we upload a video. So again, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate all of your support and keep on wishing.